It is the final round of the first major of the year, the PDGA Champions Cup, presented by Bushnell. We are in Appling, Georgia at WR Jackson Disc Golf Course. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Sinchcomb. We're the two hot geese. Honk. Honk. This is a four round event, and this is the final round Sunday, fun day, if you will. We're at the International Disc Golf Center. We're going to watch Paige Pierce, Kristen Tatar, Sarah Hokum, and Owen Scoggins attack this course on the final day. Yeah, Paige shot a four down yesterday, and Kristen shot an even, so Paige able to reel Kristen in, and those two are seven ahead of Sarah Hokum, currently in third. Hokum and Owen both shooting hot yesterday to get into this third, fourth position. It rained all day yesterday, but today we had much better conditions. It was beautiful today. Mm -hmm. Hole one is a par four, 660 feet. You want to get up to this corner or ideally past it. Uh, You can take the left or right gaps. Um, This tree marks 300 feet. And then again, you kind of have a choice. I think most players choose to go around the right side, but you can definitely throw a sidearm or even a turnover around the left and hopefully tap in your birdie, right? (laughs) Oh yeah, easier said than done though. This played as the most difficult hole in the first three rounds. Time for the 9.48 tee time to start the final round of the Champions Cup presented by Bushnell. Out of Pensacola, Florida, seven-time qualifier, including USWDGC champion Paige Pierce. Today it played as the fourth most difficult hole on the day, so um, the calm conditions along with the experience playing the hole every day. Really Paige. Add it up. Yeah, definitely. Paige with a Zeus in hand, looking to go big. Also looking great with that hat. She's taking the hyzer cap every day, wanting that to fade out a little more at the end, and it does just that. So pretty. Pushing so straight for a Zeus, which is very stable. Parno Estonia, two-time qualifier, including winner of the Great Lakes Open, Kristen Tatar. <laughs> Kristen with some super solid play all week, including some awesome putts. Cool to see her on the feature card and then every day afterwards. Just playing super solid, sticking to the game plan. Very clean. Just like that. St. Pro off the tee, right up to the corner. Beautiful. God, that was absolutely perfect. Sarah really working that forehand in the woods, I'm sure. And she's got her backhand now as well dialed in. And working this outfit. (laughs) She won this event uh, in, well, not this event, but she won here in 2019. At Um, the Hall of Fame Classic. It was a national tour. Same course, though. Mm -hmm. Taking that left side. And solid placement. From Los Angeles, California, your 2021 PDGA Pro Master World Champion, Ohm Scoggins. I've said it before, and it's still true. Own is just my favorite to watch. I love her. <laughs> it really pays off to have both a sidearm and a backhand, and Own has a really strong sidearm. And she goes a lot of flex shots. This is a destroyer. Both backhand and forehand tend to be more stable discs that she forces the angle over and then lets the stability of the disc fade back. It's interesting to have kind of these mini battles of first and third. Mm -hmm. Not that it's totally impossible to catch Paige and Kristen, but, uh, you know. Pretty tough. Yeah. A lot would have to happen. Ooh, that is a nice shirt. Mm-hmm. Here's the left side. Just needs to get through those trees. Wow. Yeah, that's a smash. So good. She threw her vanish there. Using every bit of the fairway. She got in a circle too, right? Yes. Wow. Nice. Fades out a little bit, but she is inside the circle, it looks like, on the edge. Paige having more of a turnover angle to the basket. 
And she gets enough turn. She is just outside the bullseye. I'm excited to see Paige and Kristen, how they handle this course. Right. Do they go aggressive to try to push safe? each other? Is, yep. it, is it more match play? We know Paige always likes to go play aggressive. Kristen is a super um, smart player, but also can be aggressive. So mm -hmm. can't wait to see. Own with a really good recovery shot after hitting a tree on her second. Sarah's just laying up. It actually looks like Kristen might be just, just a bit outside mm -hmm. the circle. Just a little bit short. She'll have to settle for par here. Paige for her birdie. Wow, already taking a stroke. And, and it begins. Can't have been many birdies today either. It's a really tough hole. Yeah, there were three birdies on the day. We got to watch one, Kona Panis and Hina Blomroos getting the other two big distance throwers, and that is what is required here. That second drive is so tough, too. Even if you have a big arm, it's really challenging. The trees are in the perfect place. Yeah, definitely have to have power and shape something. Hole two is one of the shorter holes on the course. It's 390 feet, but it does require a hyzer the entire way. You want to push something straight and flat as far as you can, getting over this creek in the middle and letting it skip up to the green. Um, check out in the upper right-hand corner, we got some Two Hot Geese merch for sale, finally. Um, we will have more as well, but go check out gkprodisc.com um, for your Two Hot ge Geese stuff. Join the gaggle. <laughs> Honk. <laughs> Paige with another Zeus. A little... Tight, challenging yeah. those middle trees, but she'll have a putt for birdie. Maybe 45, 50 feet. Yeah, most people are trying to push a little, that back wall a little bit more, like we see Kristen. Oh, no, she takes the early yeah. route as well. It do, I don't think that's intentional, but yeah. it does... It's an easy, I don't even want to call it a mistake. Mm -hmm. It happens. <laughs> you really don't want to push too deep because it does, if you go into those woods, it makes it really hard to get up and down. So it's the error to make. Hokum with her vanish. Really shaping that fairway, getting great distance. Wow. Honestly, anything past that creek is a smash. That's a really impressive uh, sidearm shot with this right to left fairway. I believe this is a pharaoh. Thank you. Wow. That's, I mean, oh, not exactly known for her distance, but again, just getting past the creek, it's doing some good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she doesn't even have a window, though. Own just laying up for par. Dang, watching Own make long putts is just a true pleasure. Page, Ooh, page little, outside yeah. circle too. With the straddle putt, giving it a bid. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Great flight path there. Oh, Kristen having to just go step out forehand. I feel like she's trying to put this in though. Probably, yeah. That looks like a pure. Ooh, pretty good effort. She's got the touch for that shot to potentially put it in. Sarah. On the edge of circle two. Yeah, she uh, puts with a spin from circle two, which is different from the, her circle one putts, which is with an eye on. The spin is a very understable putter. Very much fun to throw. <laughs> There's surprisingly only three birdies today. I think that's... Yeah, it's a little low. Yeah. Uh, Natalie Ryan, Jennifer Allen, and Stacey Ronsley. Got birdies. Stacy absolutely parked it. She was on my card. It was awesome. All our lead card ladies just taking an easy par, though. Sure, everyone's enjoying the sunshine because this time yesterday it was gully washing on hole two. <laughs> yeah, it got hot Brutally. later in the day, but at this time, like, it, nothing's better than this. It was so pleasant. 
Hole three is an uphill par four. It's 726 feet. You want to curve right, and really the T calls for more of a placement shot than distance. Uh, you want to land in the mouth of this gap. Um, you can go in between those two trees, or a lot of people choose to go all the way out and around with an Anheuser or a forehand. You want to land right about here, or farther if you can, I guess. And then it's a pure right hand backhand hyzer to the pin. A lot of these trees are really difficult to navigate to get yourself a putt. It's doable, but tough. Yeah, there's a lot of gaps to hit and not really a single fairway on this hole. Um, a lot to work with if you error on the left hand side as well. It's cleared out a lot in the last couple of years. Yeah, Paige just disking down to a buzz and again, throwing for placement. Um, yeah, that early right is probably the worst mistake to make. Like Perfect. Kristen with that, her St. Pro. That looks great. A little more distance than Paige. Each might be in a slightly better spot, though. This is a Crave. Matt, have you thrown that disc? It, I have. It's one of the six and a half speed discs, which I love. It's so cheeky. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's got some really good high speed turn with some nice fade at the end. Ongoing destroyer again. Trusting her angles and landing in a great spot. Owen has a pretty much straight hyzer shot. There is the outside gap to the right of that main tree or the inside gap we see Owen taking. Yeah, straight. Nice shot. Thank you. Oh yeah. She'll have a putt. We'll get to see a nice Owen putt. The strongest yet wobbliest putt in the game. It's amazing. <laughs> They're going to have to bend this forehand to the left pretty steeply. That's a relay, which I'm guessing is pretty understable. Yes. But has some finish, maybe? Mm -hmm. It is actually not that much different from the Crave. They, okay. are, they have a little bit of a different hand feel, and I think the Crave has a little more turn and a little more fade, but they are both six and a half speed discs. It's nice, like, actually learning... Sarah's discs, because I've never thrown any MVP. <laughs> they so are it's the hard best. to learn. I'm biased, but, uh -huh. but I really mean it. <laughs> Paige, Paige, unfortunately, gets caught up in the trees, but she'll have a putt. Yeah, it was a good line, but you do have to get through a lot of tiny trees to get all the way to the circle. Kristen will have to throw more of a 90-degree shot than the other women. It might be hard to skip all the way to the pin. Oh, she had the right amount of height on the disc to carry all the way there, but she catches one of those last corner trees. And just a layup with the old harp. Sarah for birdie. Age's birdie attempt. Yeah. Oof, that would have been some early round momentum. But we'll keep it to just one stroke right now. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. Is that what you came for, Erica? Love it. <laughs> Nothing's better. Nice putt, man. Oh, yeah. Yay. One more time. Let's see that slow-mo. Watch this, this disc wobble. Watch it just. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes if the putt's long enough, it will iron out at the very end, but typically it flutters the whole way there. I was trying to make like a helicopter <laughs> in case you were wondering. Good comebacker for Paige. She makes those look like nothing, but 
Sometimes if you miss that far, it can, you can easily miss that comeback or putt. Mm -hmm. And we'll have a tap and par for Sarah and Kristen. Any other birdies today on this one? There were four birdies. Katrina, Haley, Emily Beach, and then we got to watch Own. Hmm. Playing a little slower than I would have guessed. Mm -hmm. uh, Henna, Macy, Own, and Paige, the only ones on our top ten under par so far for the round. Yeah, those first four holes are all, I mean, first three holes are all birdieable, so um, we do see a lot, but it is early. Um, and maybe everyone's panicking. It's so calm. What do we do with <laughs> ourselves? We don't have to focus so hard. Um, hole four is one of the shortest holes on the course at 327 feet. It's a simple hyzer, but you do want to push this little skinny tree before you crash left because earlier than that, there's a ton of trees to deal with. Um, you're getting a little bit lucky depending on where you land because um, there's so many trees. There's not really a gap that you can see and decisively hit. So you just kind of throw and hope that you land somewhere inside the circle. So great looking shot from Own. Pushes that skinny tree like you want. Gets some good skip action. Great shot. She won't even be inside the circle. Mm -hmm. This is one of those holes, if you miss the fairway and kick, it gets really hard to recover and get your par. It's one of those holes that you can kick 100 feet into the woods, but then it takes you somehow three shots to get out of the woods. <laughs> Page catches a tree on the left-hand side, but it does sit down pretty nicely. It still is going to be tough to get up and down, She's potentially. far enough where she might be able to manage it. Ooh, this looks pretty good here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. More than pretty good. Oh, baby. Uh-huh. Great ground play. Uh, she's gotten lucid verdict all four days, and that's the closest Kristen has been so far. Sarah still opting for a sidearm here. So many yeses. Ooh. Relay again. Oh, wow. Look at all that turn. Oh, my gosh. Wow. God, that's so impressive. Yeah, unbelievable. Came out on such a hyzer angle, too, and still got some good flip. I don't think, not even most women, most people would even think about doing that on <laughs> no, this hole, no. you know? Yes. That's especially, so impressive. Especially with how sharp it turns um, at the end. It's, I mean, it's 90 degrees. Yeah. Paige with a really solid forehand as well. She's left with about 25 feet per, per par. Oh, yeah. And that's important with Kristen so close to keep it to one strokes instead of a two-stroke swing. Poke them on circle's edge for birdie. Awesome. It gets around what that tree. Birdie. Yeah. She's been throwing more backhand, so if you would have asked me to guess what she'd throw on this hole mm -hmm. to birdie, I would never have said forehand. Nope. Yes, own. Wow. <laughs> Putting clinic on this card. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's for her husband, Justin, who couldn't be here this weekend. Yeah. Great, too. And then nice birdie from Kristen. Tying it back up. No nonsense. Wow, that was a lot of birdies. Mm hmm. Five is a really beautifully framed up straight shot. It's 363 feet, par three. Incredibly difficult. If you can get through the main gap, um, you're in pretty good shape to get your par. There is a CTP here for a Rectech grill that's been going all weekend so far. Natalie Ryan has it at 
what, three feet? Mm -hmm. So she actually uh, flashed the pan today. Whoa. Yep, it was crazy. Thought it was going to go in. I want to start things off here. Early release kicks right. It is tough over there, but anything really kicking that early is going to be tough to recover from. Yeah, it's possible, but take something special. This play is the fifth most difficult hole of the day. Only three birdies. Mm. That's a rough kick as well. And you can see why. <laughs> I feel like nothing feels better, though, than lacing a gap like this. It's kind of like that Blue Ribbons pine hole that's really famous. Mm -hmm. That's just yep so straight. Feels great to get this one. I like the steep hyzer flip up on this one. Oh, yeah. That looks great. A relay yet again. Beautiful angle control from Hokum. Normally, I don't talk about my own game on commentary, but I piped this all four rounds. Wow. It's <laughs> tight. Paige with a high shot. She's trying to get all the way there. Early releases, but lays down pretty nicely where she should just have another straight shot to save her par. I think I would have bragged about it earlier, like after two <laughs> days. I got it twice. So <laughs> good for you, I guess. Four for four, baby. <laughs> Paige is going fierce here. This needs to miss. Ooh. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, good second kick. She should be able to salvage the bogey. No one really getting through here on this one. Everyone scrambling. Oh, and I don't oh. think she's even able to get go towards. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> she impressed herself. <laughs> she <laughs> hit that tree and it bounced her right in. Oh my god! This, that's why I love watching Own so much. Her reactions and just her attitude throughout the round so fun and positive. Kristen throwing a touch turnover sidearm and look how nice that was. Also good. I think that's that claymore she throws so well. Page stands still from for her third shot. Pulls it a little right, but she right around circle's edge. Yeah, I think just a few feet inside. But I don't know if that I was trying to figure out if that tree is in the way. She might have to straddle. Hokum for birdie. Ooh. Not quite getting the turn on it. She has that big tree, though, in the way, and that always makes your putt hard. It's a bummer getting all the way down there and not being able to putt. Yep. Grr. Kristen with her classic uh -huh. standstill, grabbing a bunch of chains, but not quite sticking. Paige having to go super wide. Huge straddle. Awesome. Great bogey save. The three birdies were Valerie Mandahano, Cat Merch, and Deanne Carey. I scramble from Owen. Still tied up at the top. Kristen and Paige both taking bogeys. Sarah and Owen having their own little battle, one stroke apart. This is exciting. Two mm -hmm. battles. Yeah, I shouldn't say little battle. They're mm -hmm. like equally exciting battles. Yeah. <laughs> Hole six. This is a rough one, or can be a rough one. It's uphill, so it plays longer than that 366 feet that you see. Um, you want something that pushes straight all the way to where this little stump is, but then crashes left and get some good ground play. Um, there's a lot of trees. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of trees. That center cluster is awful. Yes. Early right is awful. Mm -hmm. There is a left gap, um, but most people are not choosing that for their game plan. I don't think anybody. Mm -mm. Oh, <laughs> late releasing, but it gets through everything. Doesn't quite you get, get out yes, you can. into the fairway, but she'll have a, a spot to slide up to the green. Yeah, she'll have a chance for sure. Sarah lining up a sidearm. We've been seeing her throw this shot beautifully all day. This is her vanish. That looks great. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And even with a perfect shot, it's so difficult even to get into circle two. 
So this plate is the most difficult hole on the day. Interesting. I knew it would at some point. Really? I knew it. Yes. I think this. I hole, mean, just because like no one's really birdieing it, I guess. Yeah. No one's birdieing it. And it's so easy to bogey. With just a, with a bad, once you do a bad tee shot, you can't rescue your par. Right. All our ladies with pretty good tee shots, though, so far. Paige Zeus in hand. So much power. Oh, man. That was tracking. She was definitely trying to birdie this one. Where's Kristen went? That St. Pro fairway driver. Just getting the you know, looking Super for the Super control, par. yeah. Mm -hmm. Owen having to throw a pat and pending out and around. And she gets inside the circle mm -hmm. for a putt. Like that. Paige forced to throw a sidearm flex shot. Turnover to the green. Oh, yeah, that looks great. Mm-hmm. Sarah Heisering, looking at for it to. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly a throw in with that envy. Yeah, oh, let's yes. watch. Yes. So pretty. Just a hair high. Oh. Oh man, it was dead center too. Yes, that was gonna stay. I love the GK replays that aren't just putts. Mm -hmm. So fun to watch. Good effort. Okay, so she jump putts at a hundred feet. <laughs> yeah. We finally get to see it. That's funny. Own for her par. Yep. Solid. There were no birdies today. Um, we saw Kristen with I think one of the only putts. And Sarah with probably one of the only throwing attempts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone getting par on this, though, is really good. Um, like you said, most difficult hole. And this is one of the only holes that I would complain about design-wise for the FPO field. But it's honestly fine to have a couple long par threes. As long sure. as it's just not a million of them. Right. Um, I love this hole. Mm-hmm. Hole seven, yeah, it's a par four, 624 feet. You want to throw a hyzer pretty high that pushes left kind of late in the flight. Um, kind of pushing this back wall and then landing in the sun patch or beyond and then trying to take the right side is the biggest gap throwing a hyzer usually i would say maybe a fairway driver is probably the most common play if you're in the prime position and then trying to land on this hill which does in fact cause roll away <laughs> <laughs> i said it doesn't that much and then we saw two yesterday so um watch out this is a really fun hole because your tee shot is a big downhill shot. You get to watch it a lot of air time. Oh, own getting some air bounces that work out in her favor. She's not as far as you want to be and doesn't quite get to the corner to set up her second shot, but she'll be able to easily get a par from there. <laughs> Ooh, backhand. A little early. A lot um, early. Yeah. I think she kicked all the way over there. Um... Being on that other side, that's not out of bounds. It's just a spectator rope. So it's actually clearish over there. And there is a very narrow fairway on the left side. Kristen putting it super high, trying to carry way down to the left and open up that second oh, yeah. shot. Glorious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a glory. I wouldn't normally say that. <laughs> I like that you agreed, though. Paige with a raptor. I think that's gonna be fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fine. Yeah, pushing that fine, left side that you want to push gets a, ahead of all those trees. More than fine. Mm -hmm. See if she, no, she's like right up against this tape. There was a rules question here. It was deemed as part of the course, not able to move. Great shot. <laughs> 
that's about all you can do from there. Yeah, it's hard to to put yourself in a place where you're not going to have trees on your final shot if you don't get all the way to the pin. Own does have a little bit of a flex line. She's trying to get through, catches one of the trees near the bottom of the hill, but she'll be able to chip up for a par there. <laughs> so difficult to get that flex shot correctly or throw it correctly. Kristen has a wide open shot. She opts for the inside route, hmm. keeps it high, and skips up to just outside the bullseye. Yeah. So good. <laughs> Owen likes it. I like it. You should like it too. Paige, a little Whoa. more she's, left than she's yesterday. So far. This is her Raptor. And yeah, worked out. Up there for a putt. She thought it was a little too wide, but. Gets up there for a putt, birdie putt. Sarah throwing her third shot. Still has a lot of trees to deal with. She finds a hyzer line, no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent scramble from Hokum. Own about 180 feet away. 150, she's right next to that 150 ribbon. Oh, cheater. <laughs> call myself observant <laughs> yeah. what a great approach uphill page outside the circle for her birdie save mm, just a bit left Kristen to get a stroke on page oh yeah mm -hmm. she was one of only six birdies today heck yeah Only five people making it inside the circle for birdie on this hole in the FPO field. It's a 624 foot hole. You'd think there'd be more, but man, that second shot and that placement of the it's, first shot is so key. Yeah, two perfect shots yeah. and very different shots. Hole is legitimately perfect. <laughs> hole eight, on the other hand, <laughs> I, don't I mind could it. do without. I don't mind it. Uh, sidearm is the play here. Uh, you can also throw a backhand turnover. You want to push these trees on the right hand side but still get a little farther than this last tree right here on the right you do not want to push too straight though because there's nothing for you over there <laughs> um, ideally you're setting yourself up in the middle for a wide open shot down this pretty forgiving fairway if you're in the middle um, and then chipping yourself up to the green for an easy birdie yeah it is a par five um, we've seen some threes but it takes two just unreal shots mm-hmm <laughs> We have seen Paige go backhand every day, but like you said, forehand is definitely the more typical play. That is so good. Yeah. Perfect. So good. She wow. likely will have a chance to attack for Eagle, but unfortunately where you land, there's a lot of roots, there's some mud, just the way the fairway trees are shaped you know, it's a matter of like one foot over and you can go for it. Mm -hmm. But where you are, maybe you can't. Oh, and flipping her sidearm over, catching a tree on the left-hand side. I didn't quite see what the bounce did. Yeah, me neither. This is an insanity. Is that a more stable driver? Uh, no, it's actually a very flippy driver. Flippier than the relay? Yes. Well, I don't know. They're different speeds. An insanity oh, okay. is a nine-speed disc. Okay. It's a faster disc. It's got a, some nice high-speed turn, but some great fade. Hokum with her great angle control, though. Yeah, excellent shot. And same fierce from Paige. It looks like it's pushing straight, but it has so much turn at the end. Really amazing shot. She pushes a little straighter than you want. It's going to be tough. She might have to throw a step outside arm. We see Own in. Oh, she, she kicked. Yeah, she filtered forward more than I thought. Quite a it i don't think did she get out i don't no she went over to the other side of the fairway she's now on the right side she was on the right side before oh, oh. she just didn't get out of the right it, she hit left and then kicked early okay. right and now she's on the that happens really left. oh yes yeah yep it's really, really likely hard. settling 
or par. Yeah, it's really hard to get out of that early area. Fierce again, so Paige she, not attacking. She's she had a, taking the birdie. She had a great gap over there. I thought she was tucked too far straight. Yeah, but this is what we were speculating about earlier. You know, maybe just deciding that the aggressive eagle isn't worth a potential par or, you know, who knows what could happen mm -hmm. if you mess that up. Wow. Kristen, on the other hand, oh, man, it looks so good. It's still really good. She'll have the easiest birdie in the world and maybe a jump putt mm -hmm. <laughs> from there. Sarah has a wide open fairway to work with as well. Oh, yeah. Man, that was good. Oh, yeah, and a friendly little roll. And she'll be just outside the circle for eagle. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Owns fourth. I believe that was her roadrunner. Beautiful shot. Tap in par. Kristen opting for the harp forehand. Such good touch mm -hmm. every time. Hokum for eagle. Mm -hmm. Do it. Oh. Yeah. Do it for all of us. <laughs> there was one eagle on the day. It was Jessica Weiss. So much suspense you just built right there. I thought she, I wasn't sure if she was putting. For yeah, you. that's what I figured. I really, you guys, I really don't want to do spoilers just for you. <laughs> just long, <laughs> dramatic pauses. <laughs> Paige with a good birdie. Sarah with a nice uh, little comebacker for her birdie. Looking like, let's see, yeah, Kristen's pretty parked. Mm -hmm. And own taking the lone par. And you can tell why this is a little bit of a softer five. Yeah, I don't think Owen was ever out of the woods until right now. Yeah, played as the second easiest hole on the day. Yeah, I would have guessed easiest, actually. Hole nine. It's 510 feet. The play here is this right side gap. There is a left side gap available, but no one uses it. The right side is too good. You want to push something straighter and not early because these trees in the middle do come into play on your placement. If you push straight, this right side fairway opens up really nicely. If not, there is some left side options as well. Um, you're just looking to get through all these millions of trees and all the gaps tighten up as they get closer to the green. So that is tougher than it sounds, but three is definitely on the table. Yeah, at the distance, it has to be the shortest part four. I keep meaning to look that up, but it has to be. This is the third easiest hole of the day really solid shot from Kristen there orbit grace I believe from her Sarah going insanity again oh she takes that no left one gap. goes left huh yeah. oh, oh making the spectators dance <laughs> I didn't hear anything <laughs> she looks pretty Wow, she made it a good ways, but I think she's kind of in that little stick tree jail. Oh, well. uh -oh. She'll, hit the gap from there. She'll get a second try. She was going big. Yeah, I actually hit that tree trying to throw as hard as I could <laughs> one of the rounds. A smooth shot from yeah, own. I like that. Oh, yeah, great distance as well. Anything past that road you're very happy with. Paige going to have to work here to save her par. Left side? Oh, oh she was going uh -oh. right, but catches and kicks. Oof. Par is I'm not out of the question, but so difficult now. She's got a gap. She does have a gap. Looks like she has her passion. You know she's going for it. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. Clutch. She'll be just outside the circle to save par. 
That is something that we wouldn't see a lot of people be able to do. Unreal. Really impressive She's third shot. Throws that passion just so straight on a rope. Beautiful. Sarah had not much to work with here. She had to throw a sideways shot just to get out. Kicks backwards. She'll still be about 300 feet, 250 from the pin. Oh, with a perfect little hyzer shot. No big deal. Hard for her, Birdie. Maybe to take a stroke on Hokum as well. Mm. Mm. <laughs> we should try commentating around only in noises. I think the fans at home would like it. I would like that too. <laughs> uh oh, Kristen yeah, catches a tree. Her circle own, too. Well, she's shorter than Owen. She's mm. that's every bit of sixty easily. No need for a jump. Don't get excited. <laughs> Just a little low. Page for an unbelievable par save. Mm. Valiant effort. Man, it just hurts <sighs> to put in all that work and not get it. Like, <laughs> very dramatic. <sighs> <laughs> oh, Hokum almost with an epic par save as well. A little bit of work left for the bogey. No prob. All right, but Owen able to tie it up here. Thirty-eight percent of the field finding a birdie on this hole. Surprised to see two bogeys from our lead card, but. The cool know, thing about Jackson is it can happen anywhere. Well, yeah, and sometimes the easier birdies can pose a challenge because you know everybody else is getting them, mm -hmm. and that mental pressure is yep. a to play aggressive. Mm -hmm. And that extends Kristen's lead to two strokes. Wrapping up the front nine, we'll take a peek at all the scores. Pretty clean. Look at own both free. Oh, mm -hmm. Three down through nine. Solid. I think, what's the best run we've seen? A four down mm -hmm. a couple of times? Yep. And not a lot of errors going on here. Everyone keeping it pretty clean, pretty by the book. Not as many birdies as we would normally see in the front nine. Looking at the leaderboard, we see, again, most people sticking around par. Katrina Allen, though. Oh, whoa. Lights out through 13, five down. I got to play with her today. It was very fun to watch some nice long putts. Um, other than that, everyone's sticking right around par. Own and Kristen with the only super under par rounds. We still have a lot of to see in the back nine, though. A lot of birdies. In the meantime, we want to thank our VIP members. Yeah, a ton of you have signed up to support GK Pro uh, Women's Coverage, support your two hot geese, the Flying VIP formation. Um, seriously, thank you all so much. It helps all of us out a lot. Um, it's $10 a month, and uh, we appreciate it more than you know. Honk. Honk. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're the two hot geese. <laughs>